Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. And I'm Keely Lover. And we start tonight at Northside Pool in Youngstown, where an incident late this afternoon almost turned deadly for two young girls. For the second time in 17 days, someone drowned and needed to be saved. First News reporter Jacob Thompson talked with today's hero, and Jacob is live in the newsroom tonight. Yeah, Stan and Keely, drowning is something that we don't think can happen to us, but it can. That's why pub many public pools have lifeguards for reasons like today. A normal afternoon at the North Side Pool in Youngstown almost turned into a tragedy. One that could swim a little bit jumped in the pool, the 11 feet pool, and the girl who couldn't swim jumped off the diving board. They were actually on top of each other trying to gasp for air. So I quickly jumped in the pool. That's when Jones saved the two girls. He tells me another woman came to help get them out. The pool manager told me that the girls are in good condition because of Jones. Tony Jones acted quickly and appropriately to uh, make sure that both of those young ladies got out of the water as quickly as possible. Tarpley considers Jones a hero, but Jones tells me it's just part of the job. I'm a lifeguard. This is normally what lifeguards do, so I, you know. Just a regular, I guess. I guess that's what it is. Just a so this is all just in the job? Yeah, comes with it. But his boss can't help but be proud. I'm so proud that he didn't freeze. I'm so proud that uh, he was able to uh, affect a, uh, the rescue in the manner that he did. Yes, I'm very proud of him. And if you know how to swim, Tarpley recommends becoming a lifeguard. Every young person who knows how to swim uh, should consider becoming a lifeguard so that if there is a need for a rescue, uh, they can get there as quickly as Tony did. Now, I didn't get a chance to speak to either of the little two girls, but Tarpley tells me that they didn't need any medical attention and they were back to playing not long after. But for now, live in the newsroom, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 News.